How are you guys doing? My name is Stephen Cole. I'm gonna show you how to do something really cool with the Elgato Stream Deck. Everyone's got them nowadays. They just, they're just everywhere. They've got animations, they've added GIF support. I'm gonna show you how to put an entire picture across the whole thing. Hang tight and check it out. Yar. Okay, so what you're gonna need is, first of all, you're gonna need, obviously, an Elgato Stream Deck. Second of all, you're gonna need some type of editing software. Uh, I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop. Third of all, what you're gonna need is rum. I mean, well, I guess you don't need rum, but for mine, I'm, a, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a, a, a picture here that I have. So what I'm actually gonna be using is uh, this little wonderful piece of artwork that was done by Kraken Rum. And um, <clears throat> I'm not sponsored. It'd be nice if I was. Anyway, so moving on, let's go ahead and get started. Kraken breaking ship GIF. All right, so -doo 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 -doo, image results and Kraken breaking apart a ship, higher resolution. There we go, view image. And we can just go ahead and save that image. And we're just gonna drop it right here in a uh, little folder that I've made, Elgato Stream Deck Creations. I've already got it in there, so moving on. Now, okay, so once you've opened up your image that you just saved to your computer, uh, using Photoshop, you're going to see a stack of layers over here. Now, if you're not used to using Photoshop, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to show you how to use any other software. Um, if you are familiar with using Photoshop, but you haven't seen this down here at the bottom, this is just a timeline. It's showing uh, multiple layers that go through and give you that animation. It's nothing too extravagant. You just got to go up to your windows and you got to find timeline. Once you turn that on, it just toggles it off and on. Um, you don't really have to mess with any of the layers and I'll show you where we kind of go with this. So first off, you have to consider the size of the Elgato Stream Deck. So each little square is a 72 by 72 pixel. In between those squares, there is a gap. That gap is somewhere between 14 and 16 pixels. I found my happy spot in about 16 pixels, so we're gonna go with that. So once you crunch all of the math, so you got 72 times three, equals 216 plus 16 plus 16. So it's 238 pixels tall. And then we got 72 times five plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, plus 16 equals 424. So we're gonna need these two numbers. I accidentally did a six there. So we're gonna, we gotta add another 10 there. So 240, 248 pixels by 424 pixels. All right, cool. So we'll go ahead and move that off the screen real quick and we're gonna take our image and we're going to adjust the image size. So we wanna take the number that's going to be when shrunk doesn't push the other number below that threshold. And what I mean by that is like, once we take this 280 and we're gonna go down to 248, we need to make sure that that width that's there doesn't drop below the 424 pixels that we mentioned before, which is fine. So this is good. Um, you can go ahead and resample. Most of the stuff is gonna be so non-detailed, it's not gonna matter that much anyway. So we're gonna resample and we're gonna change the height so it matches the Elgato Stream Deck height and to 248, let's go ahead and do that. So now that is, we're, oh, sorry, I'm scrolling in just a little bit, holding Alt and using the mouse wheel. We're gonna zoom in so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, so now that we have the image size that matches the height, now we have to worry about the width because if we try and uh, use what we got right here, the gaps are gonna be too big. So I'll switch this over to pixels. Now we're actually gonna end up cropping a little bit is what changing the canvas size does. It doesn't resample the image at all, it just crops off the edges. So we're gonna change that to 424. Um, if you're 
focus is something that's maybe in the top left hand corner or top bot or bottom left you know you want to change there but i want it to crop a little bit from the left and a little bit from the right so i'm just going to stay right here and anchor the point right in the center so we're going to go ahead and do that it's going to say you're going to clip that's fine go ahead and proceed so it just shaved just a little bit off each side so now this image is the size of the elgato stream deck which is what we're looking for once we've done this <clears throat> we're going to go over to the final here the final thing it's not really going to matter because we're going to end up creating a new layer anyway so we need a 72 by 72 pixel box we're going to create that uh, just go into here uh, create new 72 width 72 height you might have to type that in I'm currently using 72 resolution so it's a one for one and go ahead and create so now we have this white box I'm going to hit Control A to copy or to select all, and I'm going to hit Control C to copy all. And we're going to come back over to the main image. We're going to hit Control V, and it's going to create a layer down here in the bottom corner. You might not see it on screen, but we want to grab this layer, and we're actually just going to drag it all the way up to the top. So once you drag it all the way up to the top, you're going to see it pop up on screen here. So Photoshop has this nice little thing where we don't actually have to measure out everything because of the way uh, that the 5x3 grid is laid out. We'll be able to happily use the odd number and grab centers of everything. So we're just going to grab that box. We're going to move it in the top left-hand corner. Make sure you see those purple lines or pink lines. I don't know. I'm partially colorblind. You're going to see that pop in there. Go ahead and paste yourself in another one. So control A, control C, copy, and then control V. Once you get that in there, then we're gonna drop one in each of the four corners. All right, so now it also will set up a grid for center. So we're going to put one in the center of each area at the top, right, bottom, left and you're gonna you're gonna okay so you're gonna see once you come up to this area which is not centered for anything you'll still end up seeing where it will show hey this is an even spacing between the two blocks that you've already placed now since we already crunched the numbers beforehand and that each of these is 72 pixels the gap here should be 16. So we're going to go ahead and keep filling in all of these until we see what the Stream Deck images would look like. So in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see that I have now a lot of new layers. So what you want to do is you want to highlight the top one. Make sure that that's one of your boxes. You're going to highlight the top one. You're going to come down to where the boxes stop. You're going to hold shift on your keyboard and you're going to click the bottom one. So now all of those new boxes that you held are now selected. Now you're going to select merge layers, not merge visible or flatten image, just merge layers. What that's going to do is it's going to take all the layers that you just selected and it's going to mash them together. So now up here at the top, we have a layer that is just those Elgato shaped boxes. With those, we're going to now do something probably, there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is what I did. We're going to go over to the select tool. We're gonna to use a paint bucket tool. We're gonna to pick the uh, just black color and we're going to drop it in the gaps between them. So now that I have a black layer there, I'm going to select a color range and I'm going to select that black color. I'm gonna have fuzziness dropped all the way to the zero, so you're not, it shouldn't really matter. But I'm going to select just that black grid. So now that you've selected that black grid, you can do layer, new, layer via cut or copy. It doesn't really matter. Um, so once you've created the new layer, you can actually go to the uh, white boxes layer and you can actually shrink that or turn off visualization. And now we have our grid for our pirate ship. From here, you can go ahead and hit the play button and you can take a look. Why are those there?
There shouldn't be there. Oh, honestly, I could have just deleted that layer. You could just delete that layer altogether, and then it would take it away from everything. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, just delete that, that white box layer. Okay, so from here, we now have our animated GIF that is still a single image. Now comes the tedious part. Uh, by this time, you should probably go ahead and save your creation uh, named something. I named mine the Elgato Kraken Full. This is artwork from Kraken. So uh, we're just going to name this YouTube Test Kraken Elgato, whatever. There. So just go ahead and save that as a PSD. Um, just in case something happens, you can always revert to this and pull the rest of your images. So now, uh, we don't actually need the timeline down at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. What we do need is we need the selector tool. So now, I haven't figured out a different way to do this yet. But you just kind of have to eyeball it a little bit. But make sure you get it right. So mine was just a little too large. So mine is now right on that line. You can see that. All right, so now once we have that square, you can now actually take the image and we're going to do image and we're going to do crop. So now this is cropped down. I'll bring that window back up just again, just to show that everything is still here. It is just that far top left hand corner that's animated which is exactly what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and take this. We're going to do file and we're going to do export. Save for legacy. As long as you haven't messed with any of this stuff, you shouldn't have to. I did, so I'm gonna turn off my transparencies. Uh, it's gonna be saved as a GIF. Image size is 72 by 72. Animation, make sure this is turned on to forever. Um, you can click play again just to make sure it's there or you could even come over here and click preview and it'll bring up a uh, What it'll actually look like on say like a web page or something All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save this image. This is the top left hand corner So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it by row and then column So I'm gonna name it one by one. You can see I've already made a couple of these So let's go ahead and save this we're gonna let that replace you're not gonna see that prompt But I did so now, after you save that, you're going to see this screen again. Okay, now the rest of our image is gone. What do we do? Oh my god, I screwed up again! No, really, this is fine. Uh, hit, can hold control, hit Z. Twice, if you have to. As soon as you come back to this window. So you're still going to have that selector tool picked. You still have a 72 by 72 box. Grab it and just slide it over to the next one. You might have to eyeball a little bit. You can hold Alt and roll the mouse wheel if you have to to kind of zoom in. Once you have that box selected again, do the same as before. Go to Crop and you already have your image. Now we're going to go back over. We're going to go Image. We're going to do File. <laughs> know what I'm doing. Save for web, export, everything should be set. It's what you had before, except uh, apparently mine's not. And we're gonna go ahead and save. And this is gonna be one X two. So first row, second column, and we're gonna save that. And that's fine. We're back here again, rinse, wash, repeat, control Z, gonna bring that back out. And we're just gonna click and drag this over to the third spot. And we're gonna do image crop. Then we're going to do file, export, save for web. And we're going to go ahead and click transparency. It doesn't really matter because I don't have any transparencies on here. So I'm just going to leave it. 1x3, replace. All right. So we're going to fast forward and go ahead and get that done. You're, it doesn't matter what image you're doing. you got to make these for all of them. And we'll see you on the other side.
Okay, so we just saved the last one. Go ahead and hit Control Z one more time, bring that back out. We don't need Photoshop anymore. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and bring up our Streamlabs. So if you're anything like me, you probably have quite a few profiles set up. I'm gonna go ahead and set up something right here and we're just gonna make this a folder so let's bring it on down to stream deck create folder drag that here so this folder is going to be now do, 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 do. set from file so now we have to go into wherever you have them saved at so i have my Auto Stream Deck Creations, and this is Tile 1.1, one, one, so we're going to go ahead and open that one right there. Tile 1.1. One, one. I'm looking down at my Stream Deck, and it's already animated. How cool. So each of these, you're going to want to go ahead and create either a sound file, you can create a folder, you can have it anything. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and set these all up as folders. So I'm going to go ahead and set from file. We're going to go ahead and pick one X2. This one is going to be set from file one X3. Rinse, wash, repeat until you're done. Okay, and there we have it. And I'm looking down at my uh, Elgato stream deck and everything is all out of whack. It is all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and click the back button. And then once I open it again, everything is all nice and synchronized. Everything looks amazing. Okay, so check it out. Here is our finished product. And uh, I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. If that is something that, uh, if you guys really like this, um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, leave a comment down below on some stuff that you'd like to see. Um, I do uh, actually stream on twitch.tv. You guys can check that out up over over here. Ah. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Um, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, make sure and click that like and subscribe button. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Drop me some comments down below on uh, maybe some other stuff that you'd like to see. I'm going to create this channel to kind of be an all-encompassing kind of... Uh, maybe not all-encompassing. We're going to have streamer stuff. We're going to have YouTube stuff. We're going to have content creator material but i hope you guys really like it and check out some b-roll before all of it's said and done and we'll see you next time see ya